verse from 2004 and where I followed out of that 21 pages which I sent you and what it lists is I'm taping this is it okay pardon I'm taping this yeah no it's fine in the 21 page file I sent you you will see those that worked in and with executive outcomes and they formed the money laundering channels used for moving vast amount of money covertly and one of them was Fleming's and Fleming family and that involves Ian Fleming and the rest of the Fleming family now what age is he now? oh I, I am uh, he must be quite a veteran at that time I didn't put his um, date of birth all right but w what I what I can show you is a complete uh, understanding where these fake oil and gas mining companies uh, interlock with the Fleming family okay I followed one company which is a scam company called UK oil and gas limited do you want to put that in your search engine and I'll take you through it step by step just in a general search or in the company check just in director check uh, right in the blue and white one and And where is Ian Fleming? Is he on Necker with Branson? Wait, wait, I said I'm going to lead you to it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, you, you yeah, want yeah to, just, just keep You want to go to the head without understanding the rest of the body that leads there. And until you understand the, the big picture, you're going to be farting into the wind. Okay, Mike. okay, boss. I'm now ready to type yeah, in what I'm, you want me to type in. UK oil. Project, UK training. UK oil and gas limited in full limited L. in full Bazinga one of 93 companies alright the first one is is company number 08387380 correct alright click that one on East Sussex. You are. It's registered in East Sussex, where John comes from. Go to the directors. Click the directors on. Paul Mask. Right. Paul Mark. Yes, Paul Mark. He's got five directorships. His ID number is nine one four one two five one nine seven. Correct. Right. Click click his name on. Five total companies. Yeah. Okay. Born nineteen sixty four. Uh, financial status rather small beer. All right. Now he is a co-director with a guy called Khaled Shahabi. Shahabi. Right. It if you go if you look at UK oil and gas and follow his companies you'll see he's a co-director with Khalid Shehabi now so I follow that link I go to UK oil and gas now well you just put put this guys in you in the head of bar at the top where you can just stick in anything in that same search yeah so how do you spell it K H a L E D. Yeah. C H E H A B I. Khaled Shahabi. Here we go. Shahabi, yeah. 
Okay, Northwest 8 6BU. Alright, um, he's got a load of companies, hasn't he? Go down. Yeah, Small Beer Financials. Yeah. And he's got about. Now you'll see at the bottom. Oh, the British Syrian Society. Right. Click that on. There we go. Does all he bailed out in 2005, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. But what you have to understand is I'm take, taking you back to 2004. That's what I just said, wasn't it? Yeah, and you've oh. taken me into St. James's in London, as you just said. Ah, well, who are the other directors? Scan down the directors of that, uh, uh, the British Syrian Society. Okay, so loads of Arabic looking names. Yeah. Brian Page Constant. Yep. Omar Fraud Takla. Yeah. Dr. PhD Rosemary Hollis. Yep. David Steele of Aquid, my neighbour. Now you're, now you're and the boy David that used to enthrall the women from Hoik. <laughs> now you're getting the fucking picture, aren't you? Yes, keep talking, oh, oh, sir. Learned one. <laughs> Keep talking. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. You will see below um, Sir Andrew Fleming Green. Do you oh, see that? I kind of see it, yeah. Oh, well, anyway. There are also Sir David Alwyn Gore Booth and Sir Gavin Far Arthur, Thomas Ed Ed Egger Secretaries Limited, and this guy. His name is Wafik. Wafik. <laughs> yeah, Ride, so, so Sir Andrew Fleming Green is the legendary Ian Fleming. Yes. Fuck you know, hell. Look, I, I, I'm trying to shove <laughs> in your brain uh, 13 years of where I started to uncover what Diana, uh, Diana's butler was sent by the Queen to say, beware dark forces. This, this is what she was telling him. Now, if you look at this guy, Wafik Ryder Sayad, S-A-I-D. How far down the list is he? That's quite a way down. You'll see it. I've got the aristocracy all lined up. Oh, yes. No. Khaled Rida Sayad. No, Wafik. W-A-F-I-C. Steal of could. Oh yeah, I see him. Wafik Rida Siad. Right, he, he's he got a few directorships. Just, Just a couple, up to 2011. Just click it on. Okay, and we go to directors again. Queen go Anne's the, Gate, London. To, he's a director of Fleming Family and Partners Limited. And the British Syrian Society. Oh no, well he's not got the Fleming thing on this listing now. Are you actually clicking on the links you're... I've, I, I'm going back uh, to 2004 and how I backtracked. So I'm working in... Well they've taken order. it down. The only two directorships that are still there are the said Foundation and the British Syrian Society Limited. There's nothing else. Well I can assure you he is a director under director number ID 91017936 a director of Fleming Family and Partners Limited so I'll enter that in the box at the top in the box yeah Fleming Family and Partners Limited limited in full yeah Fucking hell. Yep, loads of little shells there. Four yeah. results. Listen, click on directors. The company number should be 04006741. Yeah, that's the top one of the four. Just click the directors on. For that one in isolation. For Fleming Partners. With that company number. Fleming Family and Partners Limited. Ooh, liabilities of 12, net worth of 30 million. Yeah, go to the directors, click the directors on. Oh, Clifton. 
Bristol. <laughs> Listen, you will see there Lord Robin Renwick of Clifton. Yeah, right at the top. Yeah, and if you scan down, you will see Miss Nilifer von Bismarck. Fucking hell, Gordon. <laughs> yeah, and you will see this Sir John Anthony Craven. Oh yeah, the Deutsche Bank man. Correct. Now, if you scan further down, you will see Ingenious Film Partners to LLP. Yeah, so I knew about Craven's links to the Deutsche yeah, Bank. Yeah, and but the I'm, I'm trying to shove it into your head in 10 minutes what has taken me 13 years to understand. Sorry, so I've, I have to if go... If you scan further down, you will see William Arthur Waldegrave. Oh yeah. <laughs> who signed a P2, which is a public immunity, or it was a PII actually, public immunity certificate, which then falls into line with Michael Blatchford's uh, connections with the arms to Iraq and the Scott inquiry. Do you get my drift? Yeah. He was one of the people who was said uh, to be complicit within the financial purchase of those three names. And Walder Grave held which office in the cabinet at that oh, time? I, I, I mean, listen to me, all right, just, you can scan into that later when you've got time. That woman, Drusilla Charlotte Jane Rowe, is very oh, familiar. 572 companies. Yeah, I've heard her name over and over again, oh, is that? Do you know why? You Rothschilds, know why? Rothschilds? Well, I'll tell you, J.P. Morgan ah. and Premier Oil yeah. And Babcock, which is the military networking, ba Babcock. And they have products, they have guns and oh, automatic... Oh, well, they were doing the arms trading, weren't they? Yeah, and we were discussing the, yesterday how the revolutionaries in Iraq overnight get brand new weapons issued to them. Yeah, uh, exactly, exactly. So now you've got the Syrian side, the Syrian connection, which is what I've been telling you about, is, is how they they move vast amount of arms and munitions to people who are going to start shit in foreign countries. Absolutely. For money. This is all it's about, is, is uh, uh, nailing a, um, a sovereign state by being covert, uh, doing covert military actions and supplying rebel forces. Okay, let's go back to Sir John Anthony Craven. Sir John Anthony Craven. I need to click back to the earlier. Oh no, he's yeah, on this you listing. You can you can just put his name in the top. So and are are those other Flemings? Roderick John, Robert yeah, Fleming. Yeah, all, all that's the Fleming family. That's the grandchildren and the children. Yeah, that's that's all the thieving shitting bastards. Gordon, why didn't you tell me this earlier? Well, because you you you're too eager to put fifth you know 14 years of my life in one story which you wouldn't understand and it's only well taking you through individual ones that you're getting to. and that is the Bismarcks that were related to Otto and, yes. and World War One yes so go go to Sir John Anthony Craven is he a previous director or is he no, he's got 23... You, trust me, when I tell you that people have uh, taken my information on board, where they resign en masse in panic, you will see he was born in 1940. Whether he's dead or not, I don't give a shit. He has 23 resigned and two dissolved. So you've got to look at now, I'll, I will explain to you as, you as you go through his directorships. Tw 25 in total. Deutsche Bank. Yeah. Schroeder's. Reuters. Reuters. Schroeder's Ponzi shells, 1991. Yeah. Deutsche Morgan Grenfell. So they've got the media wrapped up in Reuters. Yeah. They've no. got the Royal, Royal Marsden, Marsden Cancer, Marsden Cancer Marsden. Charity. Yeah. So what I told you about charities and money laundering, which is linked to arms trading as well, covert arms trading that you have to have money available which is non-accessed um, by
financial services because it's a charity. You understand? Mm -hmm. Not tax. Now you can see there, British American Tobacco. Yeah, the pension so fund. Arnold Breeden Camp set up these fake companies through Rhodesian Tobacco. Yeah. Right. Well, the Beaverbrook and linkage. If you look down further, you will see another company. It's called Lonmin Public Limited Company, which is actually Lonro. Yeah. And then you'll see within. If you go back up, you'll see Patagonia Gold PLC. Yeah, it's amazing. Now, the the Financial Conduct Authority, 1992 to 1993. Yes. So they they are the door slammers to anybody that wants to to report their the the, the skullduggery that all these fake oil and gas and mining companies are. If you go to Patagonia Gold PLC, yeah, and s click on the. But just let me read out for the listening public. National Institute of Economic and Social Research Incorporated the you know so these guys are pontificating over the future of a country that they yeah. left as tax exiles how many years ago? Oh, it, it, this goes back to the early 1980s that I have traced uh, um, which was based upon the, that intelligence officer that dumped that file in front of me in an attorney's office which uh, was, I saw the full file when he went to the toilet for half an hour when he said he was going to the toilet for half an hour which which I then recovered the 21 pages which I sent to and you and that was in South Africa secret South African disruption I, know, I need to tell the listeners that Gordon is well connected in South Africa he's been abused there in financial frauds but he met Mandela seven times and Mandela engaged in conversations, deep conversations like this conversation with Gordon at that time. We'll go into the directors. Uh, I, went, I went to his family home as well and I was invited there to Kunu which yeah. is just outside of Tata. Not uh, as well, 15 miles away from the University of Transkei where I was a facilities engineer. I'm just trying to emphasize here the moral weight of the cause and the discussion that we're having. Let's go into Patagonia Gold PLC now. Okay, what do you want me to see? Well, click on the directors. Yeah. And um, you will it scan through the directors. Looks like a Hispanic listing here. We're in uh, South America again, are we? Well, specifically one, uh, one director. Yeah, tell me which. His name is Neil Lindsay Herbert. Oh, York Police nominees. We've had. Wait, no, wait a minute. Neil Lindsay Herbert. Previous secretary, thirty-six total appointments. That's correct. Yeah. Like, if you click, if you scan down. Yeah, the, I'm, I'm the clicking court. on him now. Yeah. Uh, All right, you will see there um, Sunrise Resources, which used to be Sunrise Diamonds, because th these are companies that I have fully dismantled, and I can state categorically that they're all Ponzi scams. So there is no product in the diamond mine, it's just a coupon no, in the Cayman. What they've done is, uh, to enable a vehicle to launder blood diamonds from Angola and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, they had to set up... Um, front companies as was Kimberly Diamonds which was exposed in the ABC Four Corners Bad Company um, uh, uh, coverage by the Australian investigative corporate called ABC Four Corners and what they did was they inadvertently stumbled upon the same criminal uh, transcontinental crime network which I was uncovering back in in uh, 2001. Now if you scan through his corporate entities um, you will come across a company called Galahad uh, Gold or Galahad uh, yeah, Galahad Gold PLC, Galahad Mining, Galahad Minerals, Galahad Resources, Galahad Commodities um, and Galahad Grain and Euramerica and if you scan further... So the agricultural companies there are a new diversion. I've never heard of virtual agricultural products before. Is no, that they what can do anything. 
The, so there is no grain or bread production, it's just a scam. What they, what, what they use is a vehicle to facilitate money laundering from one company to a subsidiary or a joint venture partner where they can move money, which is all it's used for, is moving money uh, as a vehicle to asset strip one company, move the money to another and then write off uh, as a and Neil a Lindsay Herbert is the the potent tool for that. That's why you took me to him. Yeah, that's he's one of the tools. Now, um, Galahad Gold is one of the companies uh, that I specifically dismantled back in 2004 with my understanding of uh, the network. Now, please, you know, for the sake of anybody that wants to understand billion pound or, or organized crime money laundering if you scan down through his list of companies you will come to a company called Euromin UK Limited yeah got that uh, 2005 to 2007 okay can you click that on yeah uh, just bear with me I'm just having to load this I'm, this is all from my book and this is from your memory trace you don't have this yeah. Yeah, I'm going back to 2004 when I dissolved all these. All right, so you got Euromin UK Limited. If you click, click that on. Yeah, Gordon Cassidy, Robert Stewart Scott, Graham Maskell. No sinister looking names there, to my knowledge. Isn't it? SLC what? Registrars. I think I've seen that before. <laughs> so which is the sinister bit? I'm just clicking it on. Your <laughs> this is from my head and my book. So Cassidy, okay. Cassidy, Scott, Maskell, Herbert, Dattles, then SLC. Co All right, Mr. Mr. Stephen Roland Dattles. Yeah. Was one of the forming structures behind Barrick Gold Corporation with George W. Bush. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so click so on him. What I'm trying to lead you into now is how a network of sophisticated, well heeled, suited and booted, thieving shits managed to steal billions. And Barrick Gold Corporation was an M, uh, a CIA front, front uh, fronted by and founded by Mr. Mohammed Adnan Khashoggi. Al Fayed's mate. That's correct. Interlocked to uh, uh, say Mohammed Al Fayed and uh, Dodi Fayed, and the networks behind the uh, uh, the biggest scandal in America in the covert arms trading in the Iran Contra deal. Yeah. The, the Iran Contra. So, so even if that man was not even vaguely involved in the fundraising for 9-11, which is a conspiracy theory that which we yeah, dare I, not... I don't want to go down that. No, that's that right. So these are forensic these facts. These are forensic documents that show direct association with those who have committed corporate espionage and billion pound money laundering. Now, Stephen Roland Detells as I told you, and Mr. Neil Lindsay Herbert, are complicit with others like Graham Edward Mescal. And when you check their interlocking companies, which overlap in directorship uh, history and lineage, uh, also you have to understand, you remember I was contacted by the senior investigators um, for ALP services. Yeah which is corroborated because I sent you so the Alp services to remind the read the listeners are a company that are involved in fraud detecting fraud that has happened within viable corporations and it is particularly involving crimes amongst the directorate where the decent directors want to weed out the criminal element is that correct? That, that's correct so uh, two years ago I was contacted by a senior investigator who, who is uh, working for Alp Services who had read one of my Pandora's box articles where I, I had, uh, it is reported, it is forensically covered 
in documents and dated that I had uh, uncovered the major networks uh, behind Euromin Inc. and the uh, 2.5 billion dollar asset write-off by Arriva Nuclear Fuels in France of which one of the directors was a Miss Anne Laverone. Miss Anne Laverone has uh, was uh, fired from Arriva and hence the directors uh, uh, approached Alp Services to do a forensics on the, their asset write down of 2.5 in a which is a fraud, a fraud money laundering scam with a company called Euromin Inc which was uh, had a worthless plot of dirt and an old defunct uranium mine in Namibia and hence my uh, communicating with this gentleman, the chief investigator and I have provided him over two years with many forensic documents which lead to the bigger network of which Stephen Rowland de Tells and many others are currently at this moment in time being investigated um, by I believe the French prosecution authorities who are doing the money trail for Anne Lavero, her husband and a gentleman called Sir Samuel Essen Jonah. Sir Samuel Essen Jonah is one of the kingpins in massive billion pound fraud. He's a Ghanaian. He is well healed. That's why they call him Sir, because he was knighted by our right Royal Highness, the Queen. And unfortunately for the Queen, when you come to knighting people of the consequences of the actions of Sir Samuel S. and Jonah and his cabal who operated range resources and here's the quip it goes back to 34 Parliament Place in Perth of which ABC Four Corners Bad Company did the investigations of the billion dollar asset stripping of JCI Limited which is Johannesburg Consolidated Investments yeah. and Durban Rudaport Deep Gold Limited Now we're getting onto things that we touched upon a lot and I'm slightly disappointed that we've left the Fleming connection behind because that is... Well, sent you can go... It, 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 say, it's such a wide spectru spectrum, George, that what you have to do is focus on the interconnection to understand the bigger picture. And go back to the Flemings if you want. And so you can so uncover we've done 30 minutes. I'll make it your choice whether or not we start a new video now. But I'm fascinated by the links to the German families that were involved in World War I and World War II, which takes yes. me to but the I, issue I of 90, 90 Fetter Lane, which was the question I asked you at the beginning of our discussion today. Can yeah. you tell me quickly about 90 Fetter Lane, or do I need to start another video? I think we'll have to start another one, because it'll be more than a 10 Okay, before. that is a very, very piercing set of revelations that you've just made. Thank you for that. I'll just switch it off now. Okay.